Okay, so it's Sunday night, and uh, we're home. We didn't spend too much time out today, maybe like three, four hours or more of shopping. And a few things that we bought, one thing I'm about to toss into our linen closet, it's called Moso Natural uh, Air Purifying Bag. It's made of Moso charcoal, it's supposed to absorb odors. And already I can smell in our master bedroom closet a little bit of mustiness. Now keep in mind, apparently there were leaks in here before. Oh, so I think you. Oh, you're gonna head down there. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna place this actually up here after I open it to see if we can get some of the mustiness out of this closet. Uh, a lot of stuff we got done today. We we got uh, new towels because we realized I only have one set of towels anyway coming in my luggage. So we bought a bunch of new towels, uh, which we just finished washing. Actually, here I'm gonna put the camera down for a moment to open this bag. Um, we just finished washing them, and we're gonna toss them into the dryer. Uh, some other furnishings for the home, which I'm about to show you. Uh, we did earlier today, if you were following uh, or watching us uh, on Twitter, you might have seen that we tweeted because we went to Carl's Jr. today. Hate to admit it, it was a big disappointment. I've always seen these Carl's Jr. ads on television. It smells like nothing, so that's good. Just toss that in there. Yeah, I've always seen commercials on television for Carl's Jr., Carl's Jr., all the time, right? And I saw oh, big burgers and everything. So we head in there, and there's like no one in there. Seriously, there's like no one in there. And uh, we order a bunch of food. I ordered a big burger. It's called a, a Western barbecue double bacon thick burger. I also ordered a Southwest chicken sa uh, sandwich and some bacon and ranch fries. And Leanna got supposedly it's supposed to be called the big chicken sandwich, right? Like she knew some big chicken cutlet sandwich. First of all, they forget to make the food. I'm not even kidding you. They didn't make our food. It was 15 minutes. I walked up. I said, where the hell is our food? Oh, oh, we didn't make it. Oops. I'm like, great. So then they make the food. It comes out as no, it's really no good. I'd say the burger was all right because it has a freshly made bun. Everything else was crap. The, the burger was juicy and good, but the fries only had toppings on half of them instead of the whole fries, and they were soggy as hell. Leanna's sandwich was supposed to be a big chicken cutlet. It was the skinniest freaking chicken thing we've ever seen in our lives. It looked nothing like the picture. It looked like one-fourth of the size of what they showed in the picture for the thing. And the Southwest chicken sandwich was almost inedible because they put a wet banana pepper. I'm not kidding you. A wet banana pepper on it, and it made the entire bun soggy. So I decided it didn't even warrant a vlog. I didn't even make a vlog because it was a terrible experience, and we're not... The thing is that Carl's Jr. is about five to six miles away. It's the fur one of the further away places to eat. We're just not going to do it anymore. There's no reason. There's no reason to go that far when it's that bad. So by the way, I'll show you. All of our clothes are up here, but we're going to now put them. We have these storage bins that we've purchased, and eventually we're going to put in those bins until our dresser set shows up. The reason I say that is because our dresser set, remember uh, about a month ago, we did the CT bucket list vlogs, and we went looking for a dresser set. So we picked one out, my parents ordered and paid for it, and we've heard nothing from these people for over two weeks, and my parents have decided not to call to follow up. So I'd be surprised if we ever get our dresser set. So we're putting our clothes into these cabinets right now, because my parents have decided not to follow up on something they spent thousands of dollars on. Figure that one out. So, there's been no improvements to the bedroom. However, some things have improved in the bathroom. Let me show you here, let me throw this out, hold on. First of all, First of all, we've got new mats down, everywhere, mats everywhere, memory foam mats here before we get out of the shower, memory foam mats here for when we're standing here doing our hair, etc. So we got that, it won't hurt our legs, that's good. We've also got in here a new shower head. The old one was incredibly old and faded and nasty looking. It is a rainfall shower head, which I've never had before, so it'll be interesting to take a shower and see what I think about it. I also got a squeegee to clean this glass, which technically needs it right now because I used the rainfall shower head to test it and I didn't squeegee this thing. I should probably do that later. All right, so some minor improvements to the bathroom. We move on to the hallway where we were starting to put down carpeting everywhere because we're realizing that the hallway is hard. Hardwood is hard, gee, what a surprise, but also it's slippery. And we're afraid of slipping on this, so we're getting carpet. We got this little runner carpet for the hallway. We're probably going to be looking for another style of carpet for this area above the stairs because it's a very dangerous area there. You could slip and fall down the stairs. The bathroom has not changed at all, but I did actually for my office yesterday purchase a large oscillating fan. I know it's hard to see. Okay, this is still this bootleg streaming setup from yesterday. 
but we did a, a bootleg or not a bootleg a, a oscillating fan for in here because similarly to the bedroom which I showed you guys the other day even though this is on it's not a lot it's cold but it's very you know not a strong air coming out of it and so the fan will suck that air out and blow it across the room it also is pretty quiet for the most part I'll probably leave it on low or medium when I use it while I'm doing my work so that way it doesn't interfere and we did get waste baskets for each room which we don't have even garbage bags in yet but we will eventually nothing going new with the hamsters today you already saw them I got a new garbage bag uh, thing I guess Leanna's gonna go check on them yes they're still asleep so now I'll head downstairs